Welcome to Mimi's Kitchen. Today I am baking pumpkin pie. This is my easy peasy pumpkin pie recipe which I have found out on Libby's pumpkin puree can. Yes, this can that I will be using to prepare this recipe and uh, the recipe of this pie is listed right on the back of that can and this is the most easiest yet extremely flavorful pumpkin pie recipe at least I have found in my whole entire life. Now the, this is the recipe which is listed right there. So first thing I'm using, I'm dumping off the whole can. It's 100% pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling, it's puree. Then I will add in one whole can of evaporated milk. One can of condensed milk. Then I'm adding one tablespoon of vanilla extract and now there's a little bit of change I did here in my recipe is instead of adding all three different kinds of spices I, I'm using only pumpkin spice and a dash of cinnamon because this pumpkin spice itself has all those three different spices nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger, everything is already in here that's why I'm adding two teaspoons of pumpkin spice and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Then half a teaspoon of salt and two eggs. There you go my friends, that's it. Now we are going to be mix, mix, mix until the filling is ready. It's so super easy. You get a whisker and you just continue to mix. I mixed it for like two to three minutes and the filling is ready. Now I am getting a pie plate or a baking dish. Just spraying it up a little bit with butter. This is optional. And then I'm going to lay down my pie crust on it. Also, I have been preheating my oven to 425 degree degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now I will pour in my delicious pie filling. It looks amazing. Look at that bright orange color to it. And honestly speaking, I tried a little bit. <laughs> little bit of that pie filling. Oh my goodness, this tastes so good. Can't wait for that final product. Okay, so my oven has been preheated to 425 Fahrenheit. Now I'm transferring this baking dish to a pizza plate. It's a pizza baking plate. The only reason I'm using that pizza baking plate is to for me to get the pie um, out from the oven once it's done. So my oven has been has been preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I just popped the baking dish in there and let it bake for 15 minutes. 15 minutes later, I turn it down to 350 Fahrenheit and let it bake for 40 minutes. I'm sorry, not 30. It will be for 40 minutes. 40 minutes later, there you go. The pumpkin pie is out. I have set this pumpkin pie on my kitchen counter, but it is still not done yet until it is completely cooled off. But before we even try to cool it off, we have to first make sure that it is done. So we shake it a little bit and there is, it is a little jiggly on the top, but that's perfectly fine, but we gotta pass the knife test. So I poke a knife through the middle of the pumpkin pie and if it comes out clean, which means the pie is done. Yes, the knife came out clean. That means the pie, the pie is perfectly baked, but I am going to leave it on the kitchen counter just the way it is for another two hours or until it completely cools off and then I put it in the fridge for another three to four hours for it to become cold because pumpkin pie needs to set. So there you go. You see, this is like four hours later, which was in the fridge and the pumpkin pie is completely cooled off. It is, it is nice and set. So now I am making myself a foot plate. My kitchen, honestly speaking, it smells like I just had a fall festival in here. It just out of the world. It smells amazing. 
no i'm sorry it smells like pumpkin spice awesome 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 so flavorful i love pumpkin spice y'all should try it it's so good okay so there you go there is my plate right there and i'm gonna top it up with some whipped cream on it today if you don't have it you don't have you don't have to use whipped cream it's itself this pie itself is 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 awesome it doesn't need any topping on it but i had some extra in the fridge that's why i decided to use some let me try how it came out oh my gosh this tastes so good it's super good it's not too too cloyingly sweet but has a perfect sweetness it's soft and moist it is just the perfect pumpkin pie i and my family love love to have it so let's say let's see what my daughter has to say she made this pumpkin pie for me because uh yeah i like i really like pumpkin pie and i can't wait to try it <laughs> cheers thank you cheers wow that is really flavorful literally really flavorful really pumpkiny Pumpkin. Like Thank you so much, Rhea. You're and what's welcome. the best part of your of eating pumpkin pie? The whipped cream. The whipped cream. <laughs> okay. Finish it off before I want to share from your pie. I think you can have this pie. Oh, you're taking the whole pie plate. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Rhea. You're welcome looks like Rhea really enjoyed her pie <laughs> thank you so much for watching my videos please give it a try this is such an easy recipe and i cannot wait to hear from you let me know how how you think about this recipe okay all right you have a great 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 weekend god bless you bye bye see you next week